Hello everybody, this is Toshiyagi from beautiful little island, Okinawa, Japan. Um, I'm a photographer, I shot this image for a long time ago, commercial photo for jewelry company. And uh, well, this is my subject today and uh, and this is one of the series of the jewelries. Uh, this is emerald, and the other one, ruby, I have rubies and a sapphire, and a pearl, diamonds, those are series. So I want to make some kind of illustration from this image. Well, let's get started. And. Uh, well, I have this image and also I made this pencil drawing type image. I used uh, Adobe Photoshop filter called Find Edges. Um, yes, these are Find Edges. Then uh, I may try later on of this image. And uh, well, change the layer mode of this. It's now normal to darken so we can see through underneath of the photograph image. Now I just turned down to uh, opacity down to 50% or so so we can see the lines and also this photo image. When you turn this one off you see the lines. Pencil drawing type image. Okay now I'm gonna duplicate this base image then uh, I'm going to turn this base image off then working on this another one duplicate I'm going to change the name rename yes this is smudge layer so now I'm going to choose smudge tool which is I like evolve uh, I use these days this is this kind of character has it um, pretty nice okay start from well let's go from nice emerald make a smaller brush size I mean a tool size okay just smudge it this evolve this texture of the tool makes very nice looks like uh, some kind of drawing with the crayon something look at this easy to make some something like as if you were drawing by oil paint or something Now just making just like a drawing. Great. Look at this. The client wants to see each one of the diamonds around the emerald stone. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm going to make a mask and show the stones nicely later. Okay, this is the last one of the rings. Okay, we're done for smudging this nice oops. Yeah, I did smudged already. Now I'm gonna go for background. Well, okay, make this tool, make it a little bit bigger size and smudge background ribbon, green ribbon. Just smudge it rough. Ok, 
Okay, now smash this green ribbons before. Okay, I'm going to paint with the same revolve. Find uh, drawing to, oh, there we go. There's, uh, this is Japanese, but you can find in your iPad, uh, I'm sure. Okay, I'm going to paint. First of all, pick up this same color of that, uh, this gray, then maybe 50, 60 percent, then make it a little bigger, brush size. Now it's brush size, right? Even though it's same evolve. Okay, take, this is, I can see the flowers, so I don't, I just Paint it on with the, this evolved texture. This is the brush texture, right? Okay. Now, I that I want don't want is I just paint it on here. Oh well, this evolved texture is kind of rough, so I'm gonna change the brush. I just want to paint it on this dark cast underneath so yeah evolve has this pretty rough texture it's good for smudging but uh, I don't think it's painting is use a painting brush painting group well which one is untitled brush this is just straight brush huh okay let's use this we just I picked a color from here this point so it just just lighten up on the smudge layer I should lighten up first place well, that's okay I can smudge it later just like smudge when you smudge it here it's gonna blend in the light colors Okay, now keep on painting this dark cast. Okay, I'm gonna just roughly take that dark areas out. Just paint it on light. Okay, and that's all about it, I think. When you paint, you see this texture of the evolve but once you smudge it you don't see this kind of texture huh okay now i'm gonna make it a little bit bigger i'm gonna lighten up this also same way Just make it smaller and then smoothly closer to the ring. I'm going to smudge it. Okay, now I'm going to go back to smudge to about here too. Smudge, evolve. And now smudge these background greens with a little bit bigger size. All the background just smudge make it bigger I really like this kind of texture yeah let's see here too I don't know if I'm gonna use here but uh, just paint it smudge it then 
Just leave it as flowers. That's nice. Okay, I guess almost done for smudging. This is really smudged image only. Okay, now, now what's next? Next, I'm gonna paint, well, I'm gonna add layer for paint color. So, I'm gonna change the name, color, color. Now, I'm gonna choose brush, painting to tamar. Now, okay, now pick the color. I can pick the color like this ribbons color but uh, actually this ribbon on the picture doesn't have saturation much so uh, I may well maybe go closer from this but still this saturated color so uh, well too much gray in it so maybe bring up to more clean color of the green okay Let's try once on this color layer and uh, brush size camera is about pretty big which says 17%, 60% and the color is, uh, brush opacity is about 60%. Now it's kind of yellowish green light color you see. Now, I'm painting very, very see the greenish color, right? Now let's see. Change this layers blend mode. It's now normal. This color is normal. But change to the other one. Vivid light, pretty vivid, huh? And linear light, more colors show up. Then only color which shows color nicely, I think. So, just add color like that. Mm. So I'm gonna change the blend mode on color here. Just keep the color uh, green cast on the outside. Mm, wait a minute, just be careful because well second third I'm gonna clean up this layer clear let's go from first time because when you paint saturated green on the background then real subject of this emerald green is going down you see this go back you see these greens are much saturated colors so this emerald doesn't go well I mean doesn't show well so I'm gonna clean clear this then again I'm gonna paint on now this time I'm gonna pick the color desaturated green which is first place yeah that was a good to show these emerald greens should be nicer yeah so I'm painting on desaturated this color well okay now um, I'm gonna paint later on this color layer I'm gonna make mask on this smudge layer. I mean, I'm gonna show everything. I'm showing some. I'm gonna ma uh, make a mask. No, make mask. Then invert mask. Watercolor brush to reveal. Do I like this brush texture? 
Well, this is a watercolor texture, right? Let me try another one. It's easy to clean up. Clear again. Now invert again. Then select. Yeah, let's see with Tamar. Okay, I guess almost done for mask. Now, I'm gonna move this base image on top of this smudged layer, then make mask. While you don't see, I'm gonna turn it on, on base image. Now I'm gonna make mask, then invert mask. Now, you only see this smudged image. Now I'm going to reveal this with brushes. Well, use this same tam tamer. Okay. Then reveal this base images mask. So this is smaller, 70% of the opacity. And use a white to reveal these stones. This. Go up. Now we are looking at base image, which is clear image of the stones. You see this. Nice diamonds and rings. Ooh, the stones are now, it's just that clear. Okay, that's for this base image we see. Now, one more thing, last one. Take this untitled brush, which is just this type. Now, you see the color of the emerald, these stones? These are nice color, a little bit light. These are nice, these four. But the other ones, like this gold ring and this one, I want to lighten up this emerald color, so go for curves and pencil. Then I'm gonna use I'm pick up pencil already, layer one base image. Then let's see this curves pencil again. We see graph, okay, this area. And this one, and this. Okay, now lighten up. Same time, I we want to have this contrast. And here too. Only I'm touching the gamma. You see this, please, please. Maybe green too. It's gonna really lighten up here. You're gonna change that. To, well, lighten up green. Okay. Now we see. Change this color before and after. You see this different. You see again, before and after. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for today. And 
I may change the background mask, layer mask of this, yeah. shape of the mask. I can play around all day long to make it nicer. Well, anyways, uh, you got that some kind of idea. Well, thank you for watching my video and uh, I hope you guys get to some kind of idea of changing color, density, or using mask and stuff. Well, I really appreciate for your support and uh, see you next time. Bye now. Ciao.